Today, the preliminary hearing continues in Barry Morphew's murder trial, and we're learning more about what his marriage with Suzanne looked like before she went missing. Nine News reporter Mark Salinger has been covering this case from the very beginning. He joins us live now in Salida. Mark, investigators are painting a picture of lies, mistrust, and an affair. Yeah, Natasha, good morning. It was a day full of bombshell reveals in court yesterday. As investigators said that Suzanne Morphew had a two year long affair leading up to her disappearance. They say that she spied on her husband, Barry, using a spy pen and thinking that he also was having an affair, though investigators believe that Barry was not cheating. Now, Barry Morphew sat in court wearing a suit yesterday and cowboy boots, though cameras were not allowed inside. This video that you're seeing is from a previous hearing when a camera was allowed. The man investigators call her lover did not come forward to investigators when she disappeared and only spoke with them months after she was missing when they found out about him. Suzanne's body is still missing as investigators say they've spent thousands upon thousands of hours searching for her with little found. They said they have not found any blood or human remains through all the searches. Now the court was also shown text messages between Suzanne and a friend. In those, Suzanne details a struggling marriage where she talks about feeling unsafe safe and contemplates getting a restraining order against Barry. Now, we still don't know the biggest question in this case, and that's what evidence investigators have that tie Barry Morphew to his wife's death. Natasha, we're hoping to learn more about that today as the preliminary hearing continues. Yeah, we learned a lot of surprises, especially yesterday. Mark, thank you.